not to do. Bye bye. silly throat. And wasn't there something for June and that farrowing sow of hers? No matter. Oh, God damn it, I forgot the meat. Now that is serious. Pigeon pie. Yes, pigeon pie. And perhaps a little of that beef from the dog's dinners. Well, April, what can I do for you? I just wanted to let you know I'm going off my diet tonight. Nonsense, you're horribly overweight. Yogurt and hummus for you. Oh, I'm glad it's pigeon pie, my favorite. Oh, uh, could you let me have my tablets? My head is more than splitting. Ah, uh, O'Keefe's was shut. There's no need to shout. How much do I owe you? I said the chemist was shut. If you took your cap off in the house, Jasper, you might hear better. Do I have to write it? Who has taken my biro? I'd like to know who has been in my kitchen while I was shopping and taking my kitchen biro! Oh, biro! Every biro in this house is dry. It's a contagious disease. Here's a biro, Jasper. I searched the whole house, and would you believe I found one here at last? My own personal red private biro. How dare you! If you can't hear me, write it down. You forgot on purpose. I know that perfectly well. We owe you and your utter selfishness. May I have my pen, please? Give me my pen! I said my pen! Ah, little bastard! Bitten me to the bone! <laughs> He's drawn blood. Mum's own tiger. Who looks after Mum, then? Whose does? Zoo's does. Give me my pen and get out of this kitchen, both of you. Oh, who's afraid of the wee twee wolf? You utter stinker. What's more, this kitchen is filthy. Just a dungeon for dysentery. Later. Daddy. Oh, it 
was all nonsense, all that. She married a Jew in the end, poor cousin Leda. <laughs> that was all nonsense about her and Daddy. Shooting accidents can happen to the most experienced men. Yes, they can, can't they? Hey, Jasper. Oh, what happened to the poor hand? I thought I heard Tiger let a roar out of him. I forgot April's Librium. Oh, Jasper, the poor soul. To tell you the truth, I took the last couple of tablets myself. Ah, where did you find them? In the mustard tin. Oh, I forgot I put them there myself. Ah, oh, sweetheart has had such a bad labour. But it's all done now, thank God. Baby June, you've not been giving Librium to a farrowing sow. Jasper, it's our first litter. How would you feel? Imagine now how you'd feel yourself. Of course I know just how I'd feel. I'll do go back to her baby and let me get on with cooking the dinner. Christy Lucy's with her. He's put a blanket on her and said four decades of the rosary. About all he's good for. Sure, he's a treasure, my Christy Lucy. Jasper. Mm -hmm. Would you do a small thing for me now? What? Would you put this little fella in the low oven for an hour or two? Sure, he's near to perished. I certainly would do nothing of the kind. Tell what I will do, I'll put him in the hot oven. Roast sucking pig, delicious. Oh, don't joke now, Jasper. Just an hour in the low oven with the door crack open. Hmm. And I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll rake every manger in the place for eggs for you. Well, only for an hour then, mind. Not having him here all night. I don't want my kitchen stinking of sour milk and pig shit, do I? Thank you, Jasper. Come on. Come on, wait till I get you into this little box. Go on, you. Out you get. Go on. There we are now. Come on. You're going to just love it in there. You're going to be so warm and cozy. There we are. I'll be back for you later. Eggs now and quick too. I'll put him in the frigid air. Oh, Jasper, I know you never do that. You're not such an all out bad brother to the lot of us. That's what I think anyway. The coast is clear now, Mintles. Shall we rob those disgusting dogs? <laughs> to see you. Yeah. Duh. What a smell. Gripper, wear cats. Yes, stay out there. Good boy. Now sit. Sit. Good boy. Oh, why don't you open a window? What about my cat? Out searching for his love life and being caught in a rabbit trap. Why on earth don't you get that cat fixed once and for all? Why don't you castrate your own damn dog? Embarrassing little displayer. And Box is an absolute scandal. Weeks of filth. Diarrhea for all. Did you get my batteries? In the bag with the light bulbs, and you owe me one pound seventy. I owe you nothing of the sort. I put two pounds in the house pool on Thursday. <laughs> it isn't there. We'll try the cheese then. Ah, uh, there they are. <laughs> Your cat's got a pigeon. What? <laughs> Junkie, how dare you Ripper. put that pigeon down at once? Do you Rip, hear? Leave it, sir. <laughs> May, leave it. take that damn dog out of the room. Grippy, come to mummy. Ah, oh, Gripper, come to mummy, sweetie. Well, Minkles is all right, thank God. Aren't you, Minkles? Yes, you're a good boy. Not like that horrid junkie with his dreadful temper. <laughs> Typical. You haven't changed at all, have you? No guts. I remember when you had to have baby June, your baby sister, to civilise your pony for you. Now you're frightened of your own cat. If you <laughs> must go back 40 years, who always cried before the hunt ball? No hope, May. <laughs> and now it's tweed pictures and the floral club. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. 
Well, at least I have both my eyes. How? You, you be careful what you say to me. I know something you don't know, I know. I can talk or keep quiet too, remember. So shut up and let me get on with dinner. You see, there is something, Mr. Minkles. It was only a shot in the dark. All right then, Miss Baby. I didn't I know that Saint was hearing every word I sent up. There was two hours in Jasper's oven. That's what turned the trick. <laughs> I have to go and get into my glad rags now, Christy. Will you stay? Keep an eye on Sweetheart that she doesn't lie on the little fella. But I have to be over the church. Two minutes gone, I heard the Angelus. Christy, not again. You've been three times today. Would you begrudge to say it now, Miss Baby, after what he done for us? Fingers crossed. That fox is about again. The dance I particularly remember is the night Roderick took me to that show. It was a first night, and then we went on to dance. Yes, you've told us that before. There were flowers in our room. We know. For Colonel and Mrs. Grange Gorman, with the compliments of the man. We've heard it all before. But then you wouldn't know about such things as honeymoon. Very often. June, I really must have that shirt for the washing machine on Monday. It's really too filthy. I mean, you've worn it every evening since Christmas. Blue for baby June. Blue's your colour, Mummy always said. Don't you remember? Oh, come on, Jasper. What can he be doing? I mean, it isn't as if we're having a six-course meal, are we, Grips? Mm -hmm. Ah. Oh. Well, plenty of time for a cigarette, I suppose. Oh, no, of course, I forgot. You only smoke those filthy asthma fags. Well, thank goodness I can enjoy a normal cigarette. Jasper, what are we going to do about the broken chutes? I mean, the rain is simply pouring in through the bedroom window. Take care of the chutes and the roof will take care of itself. That's the right idea. Easily said when we had men and ladders at Dulliglass. Oh, speaking of ladders, baby, I see your Christie has taken the only sound ladder on the place to close a gap. Sure, that's the day that Jilly was bullying. And what about the overdraft? I saw Mr. Love in church on Sunday and he gave me a very funny look. Oh, Mr. Love? He's far too nice a man for that sort of thing. Do you think we might leave the bank manager till after dinner? My pie deserves concentration. I've made some rather interesting little changes in the receipt. Is there nothing in your life except cooking? Yes. Eating, for one thing. Cooking, eating, reading seed catalogues, fiddling in that wilderness of a garden whilst basically there's, there's something ghastly happening in this moment in time. We have to eat to live. And we have to live together. Mummy left it like that. All right. I do the cooking. Baby does the farming. April contributes that nice lolly that her husband left her. And what do you do? Who grows the rhubarb? Who netted that kale we're going to have for dinner? And who does all the hoovering? And if it wasn't for the money thrown away on Christy Lucy, we could afford a cleaning woman three times a week. How could I run the place without Christy? I will tell you. By letting the land on the 11 month system, right? You sell the stock, you pay off the overdraft, do you follow me? And you sack Christy Lucy. Are you with me? Sack Christy Lucy? Yes. And the young horse yes. just going right. Well, I think we may have to think about it very seriously. After all, what do we get out of 250 acres? Two eggs out of 50 hens. 
Jasper, you'd never sack Christy Lucy. Would I not? Don't you know me yet, baby June? Don't you dare! Mummy, Baby June's trying to shoot my Robin! She's shooting my Robin! Mummy, stop her! Baby, you mustn't do that. You know you must never, never shoot at Robins. You know that, don't you, darling? Oh, Jasper, now what's the matter? A quite excellent pigeon pie, Jasper. Yes, it was very good. Worth the waiting for. Your pig delayed me, rather. Well, he's with Sweetheart now, poor lamb. And he didn't do anything in the oven, did he? Not much. You had a pig in the oven with a pigeon pie. It can't be true. <laughs> you weren't compelled to eat the pie, you know. Well, there, that's done. Now, I suppose, it's time for Doggy Dines. Come along, Tiger Darling. I say, Jasper, my Wolfie Wolf's dreadfully hungry, and there doesn't seem to be any meat in his dins. Well, what happened to that beef that I scraped all that blue mould off and left in their soup and brown bread? You've just eaten it. I put it in the pie. <laughs> I say, what's for pudding? Good night now, Miss Baby. Four miles here and four miles back. Four and four is eight. Isn't it tiny? Forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Oh. I'm as beautiful as ever. Extraordinary. April, darling, there's something I feel you ought to know. Yes, Mummy? There's a, a thing that men do. You won't like it.
You're going to be a marvellous horsewoman, baby June. Mummy thinks you... <clears throat> Mummy thinks you won't enjoy school in England, so we're going to have you taught in the village. Sure, Christy Lucy can read that to us tomorrow morning. Good night, Mingles, my dear fellow. Hurry up, April. It was clearly understood that I am to drive. I have the more important engagement. Do you follow? I'm giving my presidential lecture to the Floral Association in Ballinalty. And punctuality is of the essence. You are merely going to potter with poodle clippers and bric-a-brac men. Are you with me? Get in or I shall leave you behind. is typical of the way he fritters his time away, gossiping with the monks and pretending he's gardening. That monk should be praying, or fasting, not wasting his time. Jasper will be getting him into trouble. It's really quite disgraceful. Oh, yes. One can see the appeal. Yes, indeed. Slow down. Slow down, the tinkers are back. If you wonder why I'm slowing down, it's because the tinkers are back. Look at those ghastly children. Oh, I could do with less of them. All the same, take care. Awfully expensive to kill one. Didn't June want one of the ponies? Oh, they all look terrible, don't they? Stolen too, you bet. Thieves and pigs, all of them, aren't they? And Richard's creases too. Idle, shiftless lot. Full speed ahead. Lady Alice Eustace Croshaw is expecting me at four precisely. Did you say Alice? Your richest and dearest friend. Can't be late for Alice, can you? Must be off now, Mr. Swift. I have to relieve Brother Andrew and the tractor. Well, it's that time I was going too. It's almost lunchtime. See you tomorrow, then. You won't forget to bring those willow hurdles for the shelter belts. The wind from the mountains is death to my camellias. You know I'll always do my best for you. Don't you know that? You're so kind. I'll make you one of my special sandwiches. <laughs> when I was a little boy, I used to get a duck egg for me tea. <laughs> well, it'll have to be a sandwich, I'm afraid. My sister's hands are perfectly hopeless about eggs. <laughs> Ham or beef? You don't like mustard, do you? between the plowing and the Lenten pen since I'm half starved with the hunger. Oh, I'd eat anything. <laughs> and you will come and help me with putting up the willow hurdles, won't you? It's rather an awkward job to do on one's own. It's a pleasure to help you. I'll be down with you after the dinner hour. See you tomorrow, then. First, Daddy. Oh, I think the ash stand, don't you? What flies were you thinking of putting up? I thought a, a marsh brown, a wood fly at the tail, and an orange grass in the middle. That's just what I was going to say. Oh, good man. Valentine, Uncle Valentine, take me with you, please. I didn't know you were interested in fishing, Lady. Oh, yes, please, I am. Let me watch. You'd be bored. It's a man's thing. I only want to watch. I'll be very good. Promise. Come along. 